This video is going to walk you through connecting your GC3 or your GC Quad to your PC and then also in your software. So the first thing we need to do is we need to connect our PC to our Quad or our GC3. If you purchased a PC from Indoor Golf Solution, you're going to have two Wi-Fi's in there. So I'm going to go over here to my Wi-Fi and open that up. And you can see you're going to have a little drop down. It'll either be Wi-Fi 1, Wi-Fi 2. This may come up and say Wi-Fi 3, Wi-Fi 4. It doesn't much matter. We're going to start with Wi-Fi 1. As you can see, Wi-Fi 1 here, I've got this connected to my home network. Now, you can also see the GC Quad down here. Okay, if I click on that GC Quad and click Connect, it's going to ask me for the PIN, the, the uh, password. I am not going to put this information in on the Wi-Fi that I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi. Okay, if I do, if this Wi-Fi knows my home internet password and the GC Quad password, what's going to happen is when I open that software, it's going to be bouncing back and forth. So you're going to have disconnections from your Quad when you're trying to play. It's not going to be connected to your PC, and while the Quad will still read the shot, it won't show it on the software. So make sure that this Wi-Fi that you've selected, doesn't matter which one it is, one or two or three or four, just knows your home Wi-Fi, that's it. Do not enter anything in for the Quad or the GC3. So now we've got our connected to our home Wi-Fi. Now we're gonna go to the other Wi-Fi we have, and I'm gonna go to Wi-Fi 2 here, and I'm gonna go to my Quad, and I'm gonna connect, connect automatically on that. Now you're gonna see, it's gonna ask you for a pin number. The Quad and the GC3 do not have a PIN number. Uh, so we need to either click on, it'll either say password or security key down here, but there'll be a little link link. So we're gonna click on that and it's gonna ask us for the password. And the password is FS Sports, all in caps, okay? So once I put that, I'm gonna hit next. Now, <clears throat> the GC Quad and the GC3 are gonna to connect to your PC. Now what you're gonna notice is when this connects, it's gonna come up and say connected, no internet. And the reason it says no internet is because it's not actually connecting to the internet. A Wi-Fi is actually a connection, it's not internet. So the Wi-Fi is just an invisible cable. So that's all we're doing here, is we're connecting our invisible cable from the PC to the GC Quad or the GC3, okay? So now you can see, now we're connected to the Quad and we're also connected to our home network, okay? Now you can go ahead and open the software. Now I've cheated a little bit and I've opened the software already. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into, sorry, skipped ahead here. Um, what you're gonna bring up to this screen when you open your software. You're gonna go to these three little lines at the top and I'm gonna go down to settings and then I'm gonna go down to where my devices are, okay? Now, I wanna go ahead and auto connect to these, okay? And then, so now I'm gonna go ahead and search, and you can see when I hit that search, here's my GC Quad, okay? And it went ahead and connected. Now you can see it's telling me the connection type. It's a Wi-Fi, okay? Um, this is my firmware version. This is very important. We always wanna be up to date on our firmware and software. So this is the number. Now I've got a firmware update video out there. If you go take a look at that and line up this number, you wanna make sure you're on the most up-to-date firmware. If you're not, update the firmware per the video and then also update your software. Anytime you update software and firmware, you want to do both to make sure they're on the right path, okay? So I'm now connected. The only other thing to talk about here um, is if you have a dual device. So if you happen to have two GC3s or two GC quads or a GC2 and a quad because you're using it for left-handed, then you would turn this on and you would select that and it'll let you connect two devices. Uh, if you've got a GC Hawk, a GC Falcon, only one quad or one GC3, you're not going to select that. Uh, when you've got the quad or the GC3, if you've got a lefty, you can move it back and forth. So you don't, you don't need to uh, use a dual device because if you're still using just one device. So that's how you get connected to the quad or the GC3 wirelessly. I uh, hope you enjoy your sim and let me know if you've got any questions.